Introduction Pancreatic islet cell tumors encompass a diverse group of neoplasms arising from different hormone-producing cells within the pancreas. Three notable entities within this category are insulinoma, glucagonoma, and somatostatinoma, each characterized by unique hormonal imbalances and clinical presentations. Insulinoma is a tumor originating from pancreatic beta cells, causing an excess production of insulin and resulting in hypoglycemia. The Whipple triad, consisting of low blood glucose, hypoglycemic symptoms like lethargy, syncope, diplopia, and symptom resolution upon normalizing plasma glucose levels, may be observed. Symptomatic patients exhibit low blood glucose and elevated C-peptide levels, distinguishing insulinoma from exogenous insulin use. Approximately 10% of insulinoma cases are associated with MEN1 syndrome. Surgical resection is the primary treatment for insulinoma. Glucagonoma is a tumor arising from pancreatic alpha cells, leading to excessive glucagon production. It manifests with the six Ds, dermatitis, necrolytic migratory erythema, diabetes, hyperglycemia, DVT, declining weight, depression, and diarrhea. Treatment options include octreotide and surgical resection. Somatostatinoma is a tumor originating from pancreatic delta cells, resulting in increased somatostatin production. This leads to decreased secretion of various hormones, causing symptoms such as diabetes or glucose intolerance, steatorrhea, gallstones, or achlorhydria. Treatment involves surgical resection and the use of somatostatin analogs, such as octreotide, for symptom control. In conclusion, the spectrum of pancreatic islet cell tumors, including insulinoma, glucagonoma, and somatostatinoma, highlights the intricate interplay of hormonal dysregulation and its varied impact on the body. Recognizing the distinct features and treatment modalities for each type is essential for accurate diagnosis and effective management. The primary focus remains on individualized approaches, ranging from surgical resection to targeted therapies, ensuring optimal outcomes for patients with these rare but clinically significant tumors.